Hi folks, we're back here at Roadkill Grill at uh, John Moles Meats. They do a butcher shop here. They have uh, takeout and catering. John Moles Meats, it was featured on Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives with Guy Fieri on the uh, Food Network. Typically there's a long line here for uh, takeout, but today, a Thursday afternoon in June, it's not so bad. But a uh, tremendously popular place. And it's been here for a long time. Uh, the neighborhood kind of came up around them. You can see the line is not too long there, actually. And they have a little seating area here for folks, a little picnic area. But yeah, the neighborhood came up around them. And um, it's in a neighborhood, neighborhood uh, residential area here in North Las Vegas off of Decatur and Gowan. The other major east-west would be considered Cheyenne, I'm sure. But yeah, John Mills Meats, if you've never been, it's a definite must. Must try here in Vegas. The barbecue is amazing. We're going to go ahead and head over to the east side of town again. Jump in the car. The western motif here at John Mills Meats in full view. The ranch style sign out front. And we're going to set that there and we're going to take off. Again, a quick reminder if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos for you. If we get up to a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel and we can go ahead and uh, use that to put towards our son's college tuition which we would really, really like to do, especially given the uh, rapidly ascending cost of college tuition in this country. Big shout out to our friends from Canada and the UK. Glad to see uh, you guys taking a look at uh, the surrounding areas here in Vegas. I know a lot of folks put up videos of the Strip, and so have I, but um, you know, a lot of folks, they think that we all live in a, a hotel down on the strip with the residents here. And that's just not the case, of course. We have these sprawling neighborhoods out that uh, fan out from the Las Vegas Strip. Right now we're in the city of North Las Vegas on Gowan Road. And we are approaching the light here at Decatur. Decatur is a major north-south artery here in Las Vegas. Extends all the way from the southwest part of town all the way up to the edge of the northern edge of the uh, of town and um, terminates right up really up against the mountains. And on the north end of town is the Sheep Mountain Range, I believe is that the name for those mountains out there. We're headed south though. The car now says it's 108 outside. On the way up here, it said it was 96, but I think it was a little off. Now it says 108. That certainly feels more accurate on this Thursday afternoon. And we're going to go ahead and make a left here at the light at Cheyenne Avenue. And off to the left there, you can see the northwestern corner of La North Las Vegas Airport. Should really use that as an alternate to uh, for commercial flights instead of using Las Vegas International Airport McCarran Field because um, McCarran is really a victim of its own success. It's just really busy and chaotic there. Not a very efficient system. We do break these videos up into uh, smaller one minute shorts, as they're called on YouTube, um, because YouTube wants us to uh, compete, wants them, they want to compete with uh, TikTok, so we do these short minute, one minute videos here. You can see the uh, North Las Vegas Airport off in the distance there, and the Vegas Strip on the, on the far side of it in the background. There's downtown. You have to make it out on the other side of the airfield. The circle being the 
biggest, tallest building downtown. Cheyenne is a major uh, east-west artery here on the north side of town. It goes all the way from 215. The 215 West, which is a beltway, circles the, circles the town. And actually just a little past that into a neighborhood out there. And it goes all the way east to Nellis Boulevard and then extends into Nellis Air Force Base. But you have to have credentials in order to be able to get in there, of course. Very industrial area here on Cheyenne. Industrial and warehouses. Here's a light at Allen. Speed limit here is 50 miles an hour. It's an unusual speed limit, that is. Usually don't see too many of those. Usually they end at a five. Not sure what the conversion is to uh, metric kilometers per hour. So apologies for that. Pizza and more. Town Center Lounge. There on the left. And there's a shot of downtown. I'm sorry, not downtown. That's the Las Vegas Strip. Extending north to south. The Strat, or Stratosphere. You can see there on the other side of the chain link fence, of course. Um, and then extending from there all the way down, you see uh, the Fountain Blue, which is supposed to open soon. And Resorts World, past that is Palazzo, and then you can see Trump Building there. And uh, looks like Treasure Island. And Bellagio down that way. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. We get up to a thousand subscribers. YouTube will monetize the channel and we can use that to send our son to college. And again, if you're catching this in the middle of a short, we, the longer version of this video is also on our page. Please feel free to take a, check out the longer version. Maybe let it play in the background if you have a, uh, a Roku or Fire TV and you're watching YouTube on one of those devices. Maybe just let it play while you clean the house or work on your car some quick background noise. Clayton, the light of Clayton here. Some newer homes over here on the left, the north side. It's weird there in this industrial area. This is Scott Robinson Boulevard here. It's not that major a road. But it goes up to Craig, just past Craig which is about a mile and a half north of here, which is the other closest north-south artery. I'm sorry, east-west artery here in North Las Vegas. A little dip here, advising people to take the dip at 30 miles an hour. Drop from 50 down to 30. We're coming up on the intersection here with Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. car now says it is 112 degrees Fahrenheit here on this late Thursday, late th late June Thursday afternoon. I'd say, well, um, it's a dry heat. Well, I don't know. I know in Florida when it's 90 degrees and 90% humidity, you walk out from the office to the car and you're already 100% sticky, sweating into your clothes. Not a very comfortable walk in the heat and humidity, the sauna, which is pretty much what it is. And we're going to make the right here on the Martin Luther King. extends north from uh, pretty much the downtown, just west of downtown, all the way up towards, and it becomes, um, oh, Camino El Norte, I believe, on the other side of Craig, I think it is. You can see downtown there, it's a good shot at downtown, the Circa, the tallest building down there. And then dead ahead, you've got the Fountain Blue, the blue building, that is, has, it's been a work in progress for the last 16 years. 
they've been working on that. They're finally going to open it according to the rumors. So, see the strat there extending out the top there in the distance. See more of the homes here in North Las Vegas. Approaching the light here at Cary, C-A-R-E-Y. It runs east and west for a good ways. East and west. Clark County Community Resource Center there on the left. AT&T vehicle in front of us with the fluorescent stickers there on its trunk to help improve visibility undoubtedly. Welcome to historic West Las Vegas, Martin and Luther King Boulevard, the sign said. The, the historic West Side here in Las Vegas. There was talk of them opening up a uh, casino over in this area to honor the historic West Side. I haven't heard whether they're going to move forward with that or not. This is the light at Lake Mead Boulevard. This is a major east-west artery. And uh, it'll take you all the way out to the 215 at the west end of town. And it'll go all the way east to a road that merges with Lake Mead. Uh, merges A road that merges with Lake Mead Boulevard and heads out to the actual Lake Mead. You can see heading east there. Looks like an old CVS or something that's now shuttered there. And of course, they're selling fireworks because the 4th of July is rapidly approaching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. We really do enjoy making them for you. If we get up to 1,000 subscribers or more, YouTube will monetize us and we can use that to send our son to college. So please, please like and subscribe. Really, really appreciate it. And thank you to all of those that have already liked and subscribed. We love bringing you new content. Let it play in the background, these longer videos. The shorts probably not because they're only a minute long, but these longer videos certainly. Let them play. And we're going to just down here for a moment. This is Vegas Drive on the right, but it's also Owens on the left. Owens goes all the way east into the foothills of Frenchman's Mountain on the east end of town down there. And you can see Resorts World popping up there on the right in the distance, as well as Encore to Resorts World left, Resorts World's left. Approaching the light here at Washington. We did an earlier video where we came down Washington. Check that one out. Andre Oxy Boys and Girls Club, the former tennis great. Approaching the interchange here with uh, US Highway 95, US Highway 93. And this is the light of Bonanza. We're going to make a left here onto Bonanza. Little tire shop there. A lot of tire shops here. Little Union 76 gas station. I don't see many of those nowadays. You see a sign there for smog. We have to smog our vehicles here in Clark County. Um, also in Washoe County, up where Reno is every year in order to get the tag renewed it's uh, you know to help and clear help improve clean air ensure clean air because of the course the smog doesn't blow over 
the state line from LA and California. Again, we break these videos up into uh, tiny shorts, well, one minute shorts, which is YouTube's answer for um, TikTok. So we put together these one minute shorts and I just cut up the video and dissect it into one minute pieces. So if you're catching this during one of the shorts, there is the lar longer, larger version of it available online to you. Please check that out. The car now reads 111 degrees. See the top of the stratosphere peeking out from, the, from above that building over on our left there. industrial area here. U.S. Highway 95 extends all the way from the Mexico border all the way up to Canada, the border with Canada, here in the Mountain West. We're going to take a trip down Bonanza Road here which is just north of the Fremont Street Experience, but again, you probably don't want to uh, walk north of there at night after dark. And now we're heading east on Bonanza. You can see the overpass up ahead, that is Interstate 15, which travels all the way from just east of Los Angeles all the way up to the Canadian border. And there's a train up ahead, but that shouldn't impact us because that's another overpass. Here in the letter streets, we're coming up to H Street. You can see a mural there on the left. Here as we approach H Street in Bonanza. I'm going to go ahead and get over here. And this is the light at City Center Drive. There's a car there, I can't do that. There's another tire shop. Looks like a scrapyard or something there on the right side, not sure, behind that wall. City Parkway. There's some more historic west side there on the uh, overpass. And some homeless folks appear to be homeless. downtown Fremont Street. You can see that there. Circa, Vineyards, the D, Fremont, Grand, the El Cortez over there, Main Street Station. So it's not very far away, but probably don't want to be walking up here to, say, the Neon Museum After Dark, which is off of Las Vegas Boulevard. Next light up here is Casino Center. Which is in between Maine and Las Vegas Boulevard here. It gets cut off by the Fremont Street Experience where the pedestrian walkways are. The State of Nevada building there. Department of Public Safety, Parole and Probation. You can see more homes over here on the left. An individual in front of us appeared to uh, know these lights well and tried to beat this red, but did not. You can see the top of the guitar from the Hard Rock 
over there sticking out, peeking out. That is the Neon Museum, Neon Boneyard. Cortez there. So this is the eastern end of Fremont, the Fremont Street experience here at Las Vegas Boulevard. Main Street and I think it's I think it's Main Street that is the western end of the Fremont Street pedestrian walkway slash experience. Best tacos in Las Vegas according to that sign there. Casa del Sabor, House of Flavor, I believe is the translation. 7-Eleven there on that corner. Reads 111 degrees. Forecasted high for Monday here is supposed to be 116 degrees Fahrenheit. And if that's what they're calling for, then it's probably going to be warmer than that because that's usually what the temperature is inside a box, inside a shade, and underneath a tunnel somewhere over by the airport when they take the official reading. But if you're out here walking around in the sun, it's definitely going to feel warmer than that. Make sure you stay hydrated here, especially in the summertime. And even in the winter, too, because it is so dry. You know, humidity levels are typically in the single digits or maybe teens. Monsoon season is supposed to start next month in July, but I uh, haven't seen any sign of that yet. There are a few clouds out here right now. You can see them in the distance there, but not a whole lot going on. In the way of moisture. The Las Vegas Cultural Corridor, it's called there. With the top of the guitar sticking out back behind the Siegel Suites Hotel there. Again, this is just steps away from the beginning of the Fremont Street experience. I want to say it's maybe three or four blocks north of the Fremont Street experience. So, very different over here. A lot of folks I see questioning uh, whether, to, whether to walk out of, away from the Fremont Street experience when they're staying here. And um, hopefully these videos will help you make that decision. Either way. Part of Vegas that they don't really show you. Here's a light at Maryland Parkway. Maryland Parkway is pretty much a major north-south artery, but the speed limit tends to be kind of slower in a lot of parts. See some homes here on the right. Another 7-Eleven a few blocks away from the last intersection. See some of the neighborhoods there off of 11th Street here. And you can see kind of the sprawl of the east side here, how far out it extends here from where we are just about Fremont Street Experience. We're just east of that now. But you can see how far up into the mountain, the foothills there of Frenchman's Mountain up in, in the distance, the east extends. And the Mormon temple, one of several Mormon temples in town is up there with its four steeples. I don't know if you can make that out in the video, but that's up, up here in the distance. Light here at Bruce, Bruce Street. More neighborhoods here along Bonanza. And this guy walks in front of me, Joe Joe Joy. Frenchman's and, and uh, Sunrise Mountain up there, dead ahead. Frenchman's Mountain, as I've reported in some other videos, it's reported that there is a, uh, a woman who lives in a cave up there. It's unconfirmed, I know, it's just an urban legend. This is the light at Eastern. Eastern is another major east, uh, north-south artery, Cardenas, 
one of the supermarkets here in town, Los Primos Meat Market, there on the left, another 7-Eleven. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos, folks. We'd love to be able to get up to over a thousand subscribers. So that way we can, um, YouTube will monetize the channel and we can uh, use that to pay for our son's college tuition. And thank you all for who have already subscribed and liked our videos. We really, really appreciate it. Love bringing you this content. The side of Vegas you might not ordinarily see. Academy at Wardell. Not familiar with that one. And this is the light at Mojave. Another City of Las Vegas sign there. Advertising the Las Vegas Aces, the WNBA team that plays here. City of Las Vegas East Service Center, it says there. And there's a golf course over here on the right. I forget the name of it. But. And we're approaching the light here at Picos. And Bonanza. There it is, Desert Pines Golf Club. Mystery solved. The city buses, public transit here. Public transit in this town is very, very li limited, I want to say, because it's just buses. There's no light rail. And, uh, yeah, so it's just reserved to these uh, big county buses, big brown buses. And um, they do have the deuce that goes up and down the strip. Um, so that's a, a convenience, certainly in the summertime. If you walk too much and are too far away from your hotel, it's a good idea to jump on the deuce. I'm not sure of the cost, but it, it is an option. Taco Bell breakfast. Again, we break these videos up into smaller one-minute shorts for YouTube, their answer to TikTok. So if you're catching this as part of a short, and you want to see the full video, feel free to peruse the selection and uh, locate one of the longer videos. Really love having you watch and enjoy. Approaching the light here at Sand Hill Road, not a major uh, north-south artery. See the traffic here on a Thursday afternoon. Gentleman in front of us, oblivious apparently to his right turn signal. Equipo Academy on the right there. Not sure what they do. Bonanza Lounge there on the right. A dollar store, family dollar. Another tire store on the left there. Circle K. And a Panda Express on the other corner over there. They have a company in town that does car washes and sells gasoline, and it's called Terribles. I think they have a few casinos, too. Terribles. It's a very interesting name for a uh, company. And I want to say that's a BMW R8 over there at the gas station, getting his gas there at Circle K. Very pretty car. Passing the light here at Lamb. Lamb is, of course, a north, major north-south artery, as detailed in other videos. Um, it runs all the way from Desert Inn, curves into Desert Inn, and goes all the way out to the north side of town, the northern terminus out there, into the Sheep Mountains, which are the mountain range on the, located on the north side of town here at Vegas. Popeye's Chicken. Some more shopping over here. Left. One of the little nuances of living here, you notice in Florida, they have lanes with the little bumps, or little, I don't even know what they're called, they're like little raised uh, reflectors um, that stick out of the lane. 
here they use four little raised metal dots to delineate between lanes on top of the actual white lane itself. So just one of those little things between states. It's different here. There's, oh, we probably missed that. That's the, uh, sorry about that. That's the uh, Las Vegas wash. Well, one of them. The, the ground here is so dry that when it does rain, the rain has nowhere to go. And so it, uh, ponding and uh, flooding will occur. There's a former Kmart. That's gonna be a, uh, a relic, if it isn't already. Um, so it, the rain has nowhere to go and it really, really floods here when it rains. And so they have these washes to kind of direct the water into to keep them from flooding the streets. But there's still a lot of problem areas around town where it floods like crazy. Up on the left there, it's a tire store just behind the Jack in the Box. It looks like it might be an old Pizza Hut, actually. With the red top on it. So I kind of miss those old Pizza Huts. It was fun to go in and sit down here and have pizza. Like they did in the movie Bench Warmers from 2006, I think it was. Another 7-Eleven across the street from another 7-Eleven. Here is what looks like the old Pizza Hut, but it's now a garage. There's a home on the right there. And again, Frenchman's Mountain, Sunrise Mountain. Frenchman's Mountain is the peak to the right, and Sunrise is the one to the left. This area of town is called Sunrise Mountain, or Sunrise Manor, I believe, I'm sorry. Sunrise Manor. We've got some homes right here on the thoroughfare. Approaching the light here at Christie Lane. We have uh, another video, an earlier video, driving down Christie Lane, showing you what that's like. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel and we can send our son to college and pay for his tuition. So we'd really, really like to get there. Thank you all that have already joined and liked and subscribed. We really appreciate you little tent out there for sale in someone's backyard and again if you're catching this as part of a larger video uh, part of a short the larger video is also up here we just try to slice up the larger videos into one minute sections called shorts for YouTube because that's YouTube's response to TikTok. Lynn Lane here crossing the light up and you can kind of make out the steeples behind this van that's in front of us the steeples of the Mormon church up there it's pretty to look at the, they light up the stickles at night in white. That's really pretty to look at. The car says it's 114 degrees Fahrenheit right now. I'm not sure what the conversion to Celsius would be, but definitely got to be hot. Not the kind of day you'd want to be out running around, well, walking around in for very long without something to hydrate you. This is Mount Hood. Stop sign here. It's a little residential street. There's a uh, vendor selling stuff on the corner there. Get a lot of that over here on the east side. A lot of folks with their carts. And their colorful rainbow, rainbow uh, umbrellas. We want to thank you all so very, very much for joining. We really, really appreciate you. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed this as much as we have. And we will see you again soon. And please feel free to, please, please be sure to check into our daily videos as well. Uh, we do Las Vegas Live strip live strip look in every day right around noontime pacific so please feel free to check into that and this is the light at hollywood boulevard here on the east side of town again thank you everyone we'll see you soon